Let's discuss the chain rule for differentiation. So the chain rule for differentiation has to be used when you have something that looks like this, f of g of x. So when you have a function on the outside and a function on the inside, so it's two functions, and f is being evaluated at g of x. So for the chain rule, there are three steps to find the derivative of this. The first one is to differentiate the outer function. And in this case, that would be, this. in this case, it'll be f. The second is to evaluate, evaluate this um, outside function, the derivative of the outside function at the inside function. So this is f prime, and this is f prime will be evaluated at g of x. So this is g of x. And the third step is to multiply this by the derivative of the inside function. Just multiply by the derivative of the inside. So these are the three steps. Differentiate the outside, evaluate it at the inside function, and then multiply this whole thing by the derivative of the inside. So let's just do it for y is equal to f of g of x. So this is the standard notation. And for y prime, there'll be the derivative of the outside function, f prime, evaluated at the inside function, g of x, multiplied by the derivative g prime, the derivative of x, which is a g derivative of g of x, which is g prime x. So let's do a couple of examples. First example I'll be doing is finding the derivative of y is equal to cosine sine x. And this, you can clearly see this is f, and this is g, and you can do it exactly as this above. So y prime is equal to derivative of the outside function, which is negative sine, multiplied by, evaluated at the inside, which is sine x, multiplied by the derivative of the outside, of the inside function, which is cosine. Derivative of sine x is cosine x. So, there you have it. And the next example I like to do is y is equal to sine squared 3x minus 2. So this is a little bit more complicated because there's more than one inside and outside function. So let's just start with the outermost function, which is this, which is basically like, think of it as x squared. So when you do y prime, it's going to equal to 2 sine. So now you have a 2 sine evaluated at the inside, 3x minus 2. So that's the first part. The next part will be to differentiate sine x which the derivative is cosine, so you have to multiply that by cosine, 3x, again evaluated at the inner function, and then multiply it by the derivative of the in, in, innermost function, which is 3x minus 2, so the derivative of 3x minus 2, oops, derivative of 3x minus 2 is just 3, because that's a constant and that's the multiple rule right there. So y prime is equal to 2, if you simplify this actually, it becomes 6 sine 3x minus 2 cosine 3x minus 2 and since we know that by the normal trig uh, rule of sine of 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cosine theta we can apply that here because this is basically 2 sine theta cosine theta so we can just simplify it more and say y prime is equal to 3 sine, so 2 theta, so it'll be 6x minus 4. And that's the simplified form of that.